I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Your mouth kept moving. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. No, oh, you're the one I need to talk to. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express, or at least I was. Until right now. <laughs> well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. It's not what I'm asking about. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. There you go. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. Excuse me? That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. That robot. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. I guess First not. deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. <sighs> Well, that's where you came in. Cancelled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. Certainly. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. You know where he was? Did you see where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Well, maybe he knew something that I didn't. Anyway. Some guys stole my package, some dick in a checkered suit, and some fucking great cons, I guess. Did they come here? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Right. The dick in the checked suit? Shot me in the fucking noggin. I got better, obviously. I need to know the best way to get to them. Uh, because I'm going to put a bullet in his head. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Is he a Beagle? Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Not my friend. He may have heard where they were going. Not particularly pretty, either. Alright, well, um... Bye. Don't go getting yourself shot. Again, getting yourself shot again. I get myself shot quite frequently, and honestly, I'm doing alright. In the meantime, though, do you have anywhere I can s sleep for the evening? No? Child? Hello? Hey, do you need medical attention? Um... Yes. I can easily fix your broken, mangled body. For money. How much? Seventy-five? All right, here. Okay, stop squirming! Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what to do, child. Well... <sighs> I'm trying to find somewhere to rest, I guess. Are there beds? Where are you guys resting if you're all hanging out in here? Like, I don't... Hello? Are there any beds? Like... Oh, look, a safe. A single bottle cap. Well, guess I'll rest here. Hey there! Hello? Hi. You gonna rest there? Alright, cool. Good night. Howdy. Oh. 
Sleeping on couches, man, just sucks. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Hi, good morning. Morning. Hi. Good morning. Alright, I'm gonna go into the Bison Steve. Try not to shoot your deputy. Alright. We're at the Bison Steve. I don't see anybody. I do see somebody. I don't think I have anything long range. Hang on. I got a varmint rifle. What the hell? Let's see if I can blind up this shot nicely. A little more. Maybe my physical self a little bit. Might help. Ah, you dick! He moved. Hey, stop. Stop walking away. Stop it. There we go. Oh. Who's shooting at what? Oh, it sounds like it's coming from up there. Alright, we're gonna do this. Real careful, like. Alrighty. Gotta be careful. Man, you guys die so fucking easy. Oh, there's somebody over there. Good job. Anybody else? Oh, hello. If there's anybody else, I find it very difficult to believe that they did not hear that fucking shotgun blast. No matter how much I hate this fucking thing. Shit! Finger off the fucking trigger. There you are talking to Wishman. Oh my god, I know trigger discipline. Here you are fucking accidentally firing off rounds out of nowhere. Uh, oh, I see somebody right there. Right there. I see somebody. Is there anybody over here? Okay. Oh god! Okay, um, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I shot the gun out of your hand and now you're fighting me with a cleaver. Really. Sir. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to fucking chill. Alright. <gasps> Calm down. It's not that serious. Oh. Maybe I should learn how to shoot, huh? This is hopeless. It is. For you. Hey, get back here. Where do you think you're going? Hello. I am a little disappointed that you are not an adorable dog, but hi. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. Nope. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. I did not. I came to ask you some fucking questions. You must be this Deputy Beagle that they were uh, telling me about in the, uh, the casino. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Alright. I hear that you might have some information about some cons and a, a dick in a checkered suit that came through here. My good lady. Don't call me I that. I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Oh, for you or after you tell me? I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. Can you tell me about the people who pass through town now? I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds, I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. Bye, Beagle. No need to rush on my account. I lost feeling in my hands and legs hours ago. Allow me to let you in on a little 
bit of information about me, Deputy Beagle. Hi, I'm Anna Duke, and normally when I play this game, I play Legion. So, degenerates like you belong on a cross. Also, I just set myself on fire. See? Fun. Next time, step back further. But, like I said, fun. Take you for all your worth, Beagle. Take you for all your worth. Which is nothing. Oh. This is most unusual. The Powder Gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. <laughs> so what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. Dapper. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton. You're trying west to fuck them, Where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. Well, what a useless fuck. Well, that was a rousing success, I would say. Where is John... Johnny John Johnston? Johnson? Jonathan? Howdy. Hi, Ruby. Uh, right, right, right. Where did he go? Oh, hey. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Yeah, he's, um... He's dead. Anything fun over here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. I see people. Oh, oh no. Oh, what? People. people. A little bit of good old classic how I usually play this game kind of fun. Which is murdering folks in the most heinous possible fucking way I can think of. Ooh, dynamite. Ooh, dynamite. Well, he wasn't hostile. Setting them on fire. Oops, did that to myself, didn't I? Who decided to use a screw for the sight on this thing? So fucking inaccurate. Look at that. Couple of shitty scrap metal slap dash fucking statues just dick waving all over the Mojave. Outstanding. Good thing you put that there, NCR. Wouldn't want the Legion to know exactly where you are. Ugh. Can't tell. I need to get something with a fucking scope on it. Why did I sell those binoculars? God damn it. Maybe I can sneak past all this bullshit. Let's maybe I'll go this way instead. I do want to go up there. Because according to the map, that is the Mojave outpost. Ooh. Pretty. Or at least it was. Oh. Right. Scorpion knows me. Ah, uh, nothing in the suitcase. Toolbox. Yeah, nothing worth my time. Don't you get any fucking ideas? Are you running now? Fuck off. I thought that was a person in the middle of the dust field. Like, shit. Alright, let's see if I can get around this shit without attracting too much fucking attention. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to know anything about any of that. Ah, oh, yes. Here's those big fucking statues. Of course, it's a couple of dudes, right? Like, look at my giant fucking desert penises. I'm the NCR. Hello. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. Nah, I'm just, you know, hell-bent on revenge. What's going on here? Outpost. 
Mojave Outpost. I know that. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while. Waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Alright, is there any work to do around here? Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. <coughs> might check Excuse the me. barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your yeah. gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Alright, what's the deal with these uh, big dick-waving statues? Those two? Represents unification. <laughs> Mostly good for shade. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. Yeah, they'll be able to see exactly where you are. Anyway, off I go. Watch yourself. Don't tell me what to do. Bye! Hello? Hate this goddamn place. What? What do you want? Excuse you. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not in a good mood right now. And what's the problem then? Some of my playing cards were stolen. Some really important ones. It's gonna be difficult to win a game of caravan without them. Well, yeah. Kinda need them. People actually play that stupid fucking game. We have to do something around here to pass the time, and we're limited on options. Can I always jerk off? We throw rocks at tin cans, complain about the weather, and play caravan. That's it. Like I say, you could always jerk off. I mean, well, I know. There's, there's other card games, too. Like, there's poker, and go fish, and euchre. I've never even heard of that last one. Pretty sure you made it up. Pretty sure I didn't. Look, we can't play proper card games because nobody around here has a full deck. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get all 52 cards out here? I suppose. And even when we do get a complete set, it doesn't last long. These <clears throat> people inevitably steal the best cards for their caravan deck. That's stupid. Did you misplace them? No, only the important cards are missing. I still have all my crappy number cards. But you better believe I'm short a few kings. Huh. Well, guess I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, but they didn't have any distinguishing markings, so you wouldn't be able to tell them from any other playing cards. I'll just have to buy some replacements from the traveling merchants. See you around. Alright. Bye. Ma'am. Hello. Ma'am. Hello. Hi. Okay, gonna walk away from that shit. Evening. Evening. Hello. What do you think of our little slice of hell we got here? It kind of sucks. Uh, who are you? How have you not seen me around here before? I I live here. I just got here. Jeez. How do you like being stationed here? I, I wish that I had somebody that was even remotely similar to me that I could talk to. I mean, you could talk to me. I don't know if we're similar. Just met ya. Why do you hate it here so much? This dust out here is literally the worst. Yeah. It's moon dust, and if it rains at all, it just sticks to your boots like Yeti shit. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Could be worse. Could be over at uh, Camp Forlorn Hope. What a name that is. At least there's actually stuff to do there. And the people at Forlorn, Forlorn Hope are somewhat competent and don't break their rifles by slamming them in the door to the building! Okay, like, I don't know anything about guns, but, uh, that... You don't do that. Anyway, what's the deal with the statues out there? Big statues, they're real stupid. You can't climb to the top of them. Don't jump off. It really hurts. You've done that before. Okay. Uh, you're not a regular soldier, are you? What tipped you off? The fact that I'm competent? Uh, that's yet to be seen. Why are there civilians around here? Like, why am I wandering up in here? I don't know. It's I guess there's like a bunch of ants down there. So, Ranger Jackson won't let anyone through. 
So aren't you uh, patrolling the outpost? I'm assigned to work in the armory, and I've finished everything for today. Oh, well, look at you. Get to enjoy your evening. <laughs> hey, so, uh, I've heard this said before. I imagine that patrolling this place must uh, make you wish for a nuclear winner. Yeah, 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 I know. Makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Makes you win for a nuclear win. Shut up! <laughs> I knew that'd get you. You got any advice? You gotta act like you're mediocre, because otherwise they ask you to do extra things. Oh yeah, no, no, no. That's definitely good advice. I, you know, I've already already applied that to my life. Anyway, it's been excellent meeting you, Specialist Zach. I'm sorry. This place sucks. I'll see you later. Alright, man. Take it easy. Try not to go insane, I guess. I will try. Bye. You have quite lovely eyes, by the way. Where are you going? Who's that? Go quietly. What are you doing behind the building, huh? Got business here? I do. Spooky business. Hi. Hey, don't sneak up on a guy like that, asshole. What's you so jumpy about? Why so many questions? What do you want? Your fucking kidneys now. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm looking for some missing playing guards. Some, uh, some very covered for the heat individual over there was looking for them. And you're accusing me of stealing them. Is that it? No. But, um, uh, now I am. You never met me before. How do you know this isn't my normal behavior? Huh? Right. So, you should feel ashamed of yourself for stealing somebody's cards. And, uh, go to timeout. I didn't steal shit, and you can't prove it. Besides, there's just one thief in the NCR, and everybody else is just trying to get their shit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pay you a million caps for those those stolen cards, my guy. Do I look like an idiot? Get, get out of here. No. Find them. Yeah, 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 whatever. <clears throat> Just you and me, bud. Go away. Go away. Go away. Who am I detected by? There's nobody else over here. Detected by what? My anus? Oh, how am I detected right now? Who is perceiving me? Do not perceive me. That looks painful. Is he still over here? Where is he? Hey, hey buddy. What? Found your cards, man. Wow, nice work. You even got me back to King who's stabbing himself. He's my favorite. Yeah, it's a little interesting, isn't it? Here's some caps for your trouble. And you can keep this card from me. Appreciate it. It's the Ace of Spades. Because, friend, your race is in my book. Aw, oh, thanks. Cheesy. Don't ever say that to anyone ever again. But thanks. Hello. Do you want some help? Here. Jeez. Hey, lady, don't shoot me. Hello. You a courier? If I was. So, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Both of those things are true. What's going on with your sunglasses? Anyway, what's the work? I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. That sounds bad. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. Okay. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Sure. I'll do that in the morning. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Well, I'm not in Listen, the military. I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears. Not your life. All right? You got it. Anyway. Uh, any news from the West? Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan families are causing trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look, 
You want gossip? Go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch, then fill out the daily log. Well, it's getting late. You got somebody to replace you? You just stay up all the time. You know, you can't just live off of, like, coffee and jet and cocaine. Anyway, uh, anything you can tell me about this place? Not much to tell. One of the worst posts in the NCR if you're looking to be anything more than a babysitter. Full up here, but just enough so we can't send out patrols. Gotta maintain a standing force. Jackson's orders. NCR's orders. Can't spare men for patrols or escorts, so caravans are backing up here like a Brahmin with a bottle in its ass. Mm, typical NCR bullshit. I'm, I'm leaving. Mind yourself on the plank going down. I got up here tonight. Oh man, I'm gonna fall. Eh. Alright. Might as well go to the bar. I guess we'll see if there's an open bed. Hello. Hello. Evening. Evening. Um... Is there a bed I can use? Here we go. To the window, to the wall, till the sweat drop Hello. right on down my balls. To the window, to the wall, till the sweat drops. Right on down my balls. 